Well, I can't believe I'm actually doing this. A part three for this, <coughs> um, um, this series, the, uh, the swim teacher series. So to give you a quick summary, my dumbass couldn't swim until I was like 17 years old. So what did I have to do in my late teens? That's right, I decided to sign up for beginner's swimming lessons. Which, by the way, is intended for children. So, uh, that was, uh, pretty embarrassing. Oh, boy, boy, he's 17! He's 17! Like, nobody actually said anything in class, but you know how, like, the teenage overthinking mind works, you feel me? So, like, I was just there, and, like, I could, I was just imagining it. Hey, um, I'm here for the beginner's swimming lesson. Boy, why are you like 17 in this swim class, you a whole ass adult? Boy, I'm nine years old and I can swim better than your dusty ass. Bruh. But, like, I mean, it wasn't that bad because by some strange miracle, my swim teacher, Brianna, is only like three years older than me. A beautiful 19-year-old college senpai. And like I talked about in my previous videos, you might want to watch those for context, I was, I, I was pretty flustered. Uh, that might be an understatement. Lean into me. <clears throat> uh, yeah, sorry, my, uh. Uh, yeah. Uh, moving on. So let's dive right into Swim Teacher Part 3. Ha <laughs> dive! Sw swimming lessons. <laughs> I got it. So after finishing the formal parts of our swimming lessons, we would play water basketball. The nets are like super low. All of the kids are like half of my size. I've got like 90 pounds on all of these kids. So you name it, I can basically do whatever basketball tricks I want. Like perhaps the classic one-handed, throw it back like a Thursday, in your face, space jam, 360 hurricane, triple clutch, washing machine, spinnerino, while making a sandwich with the sandwich. Same hand! Harold, are those like actual terms or are you like making them up? Yeah, they are, mostly. I'm just giving it some flavor, okay? So yeah, I'm throwing it down and obviously after a while of watching, Brianna was like, It's okay, Kevin! Okay, Kevin! Oh! How do you like my nuts in your face, boy? Get dropped off! Eat my nuts, Kevin! I don't think the teams are even. Hey, Kevin! What rhymes with click punk? Uh, sick dunk? So to make it a little bit more even, she joins our game. And that, like, you know, you know, it was, it was interesting. Uh, interesting. So then we add Brianna to the game and continue as usual. She gets the ball and I'm defending her. And now my competitive spirit is like burning, you know? I love playing sports, right? But that lasted for about like an entire four seconds. Cause she switches from this attack position to this one. You can probably see where this is going. She backs up into me. And this is where the hormonal chaos begins. So I get hit with a shoulder bump and then she checks her right side. She checks her left side and then another shoulder bump. And then out of nowhere, it happens. She aggressively backs up her business directly into my business. Okay, okay. You know that anime cliche where like the female protagonist bumps into the male protagonist and they end up in some awkward position and everyone's like, gasps over dramatically. That is how I felt on a frequent basis throughout the entirety of these swimming lessons. And if you want to experience that feeling firsthand and watch some stupid, funny, and overly dramatic anime, you can use my URL, crunchyroll.com slash Link is in the description for two free weeks of anime streaming service, ad-free, and in 1080p HD. <coughs> Thanks. Wait, wait, did he just... Did he just do it again? And this is like a standard thing to do in basketball. You back up into the defender to create space. But in this situation, it had me overthinking. If you thought the marshmallows pressing against my back in part two was overwhelming, then I can only tell you that this feeling, the feeling of the cakes in my business was somehow a step above that. I was beginning to panic while panicking. 
Uh, uh, so, so is it okay, okay for me to like push, push her back? back? But, but wait, wouldn't that, that be weird? Wouldn't she think I'm weird? weird? I don't I want her to take, take it the wrong way, way but, but then again, again she's, she's pushing, pushing into me. me. Normally, Normally when I'm playing with my friends, friends I, push I push them back, back too. too. But I don't know, this situation is kind of different because my friends aren't hot girls. Okay, okay, just just don't, just don't panic. Just don't panic. I'm panicking! Just because she's a girl, doesn't, doesn't mean I shouldn't, shouldn't be competitive, be competitive right? 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 Wrong? Left? Up? up down, down? Horizontal? At the time, basketball was probably the last thing on my mind. Because this wasn't high school gym class, nor was it one of my friends. It was Brianna and her business. The cake business. Also, let me just say, I pointed this out in my last video, okay? She's not wearing regular plain clothes. It's not like she has a pair of really baggy gym shorts or anything like that. She is repping the legendary One Piece lifeguard uniform. So with all these factors combined, I was dying, basically. So there she is. I don't know if she's about to pass or shoot the ball. I'm doing my best to defend her, but I'm struggling uh, b because her bottom bumping into my waist is like <laughs> her bottom bumping into my waist is like short circuiting my brain like she would look left bump she would look right bump and in like the 20 seconds that this is happening my brain is drifting through time and space at like maximum speed but hold on let me clear things up really quick it wasn't like this was nightclub level unleash your freak mode get your grind on in reality she's basically hip checking me to create space so she can shoot pass lay up the ball or whatever because sports but but wait you gotta understand, from my high schooler perspective, this is like the ultimate dream come true. <clears throat> Wait. Is that... is that weird? Can I say that? Is that sad? Nah, whatever, I don't care. But wait, there's more. The hormonal overdrive didn't end there because I got slapped. Anyways, guys, did you like those, uh, <laughs> those quick sneaky parts I threw in earlier? Wait, did he just... Th did he just do it again? <clears throat> I mean, like, I think they're funny. So, remember, if you want to redeem your two free weeks of anime streaming service, use my URL, crunchyroll.com slash erold, that is E-R-O-L-D. Link is also in the description, ad-free, 1080p HD, and accessible on multiple devices, so make sure to check it out. And as always, a big thank you to Crunchyroll for sponsoring this video. Funny how this is like my third Crunchyroll video and two years ago before I even started making YouTube videos, I really wanted to do a Crunchyroll sponsor because <laughs> I watched a lot of Domics. <clears throat> Anyways, so let's quickly talk about what anime I'm currently watching this season. Right now, I'm catching up to Darling in the Franks, and that has been a super fun watch. Especially if you're into fun characters and piloted mech battles. There's a lot of skin-tight suits, though, so just letting you know. And I've also been thinking of getting into this show called Laid Back Camp. It's literally about friends camping, like drinking soup out of a thermos with your friends for like 20 minutes. I'm honestly really excited to watch this. I've been needing something to like relax from the stress. You feel me? Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Here is my URL. Link is also in the description. Two week free trial, multiple benefits. Check it out. So with all that being said, I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.